In this video, we're going to solve a question from Shigley's Mechanical Engineering Design Book, 9th edition, which is chapter 3, question 1. If you don't have this book, or you want to have this book as a reference, you can find the link for that book in the description of the video below. Now, let's solve the question. Question 3.1. Sketch a free body diagram of each element in the figure. Compute the magnitude and direction of each force using an algebraic or vector method as specified. So, question here basically asks to calculate the uh, <coughs> to calculate the uh, reaction forces on point O, B, and C due to the external forces acting on A. So now, in order to solve this, we need to firstly draw a free body diagram as shown here. So now, what I want you to focus on is on point O, which is here. So on point O, you can see that there are two reaction forces, one acting on Y direction, OY, and another one acting on the X direction, or x so when we <coughs> when we put reaction forces we need to consider whether the the point of the body can move in x or y direction let me give you an example so for point o you can see that you cannot move point o uh, in x direction because it is pinned to the to the handle there so in order to prevent external forces from allowing that movement we need to have reaction forces which is ox so that's why we have reaction forces so that that thing cannot move in x direction same goes to the y direction oy the reason we put oy is because if we see in the original diagram which is here you can see that you cannot move in this direction it will always be here so uh, it's oy direction have reaction forces also next we focus on point b which is here and which is here so in uh, on b point uh, we have reaction forces bx and by uh, it's the same case as uh, at point o now we look at point C. So for point C, you can see that we I've put reaction forces C Y here. Now the reason I put here is because as you can see later in this diagram, so I there's actually reaction forces here, but uh there's reaction forces on X, so C X and also reaction forces on Y. So C Y. So when uh when the reason I uh didn't put C X is because uh the external forces one hundred uh LBF acted on A is in Y direction only. So that's why if imagine if you put uh in Y direction forces there wouldn't be any external forces acting on x direction so cx would be zero so that's why i didn't even draw cx reaction forces because i know in the end it will be zero the next one will be cy cy here is uh there's a reaction force of cy here but there's, there's also another here is because this is the reaction forces for the rod here so this is like tension acted on here so the tension here is equal to the reaction forces so that's why i only draw cy here so that's all for the free body diagram next is that how to calculate the reaction forces of o b and c so the solution here is by using uh, some by using some of uh some of forces 
equilibrium. So in y direction, uh, here I assume y direction going up is positive. So total of forces Fy going up positive is equal to zero. So as you can see here, Oy is going up, so it's positive, plus By is going up also, is positive. And then we can see here, 100 LBF is going down. But here, we assume going up is positive. So going down would be negative 100 LBF. And then, th that's everything equals to zero. Uh, one note to remember is, uh, here I'm only considering the member for O, A, and B. So the rod O, A, B. So we are not considering uh, rod C, B first. So <clears throat> the, the, the one is for later. So after we get this equation, we get O, Y plus B, Y equals to 100. Next is we consider the x axis so we assume that going to the right is positive so here ox going right is positive then there's nothing on o uh, on a and then on b there's bx so ox plus bx equals to zero ox equals to zero bx equals to zero because there's no external forces acted on the x axis because here, as we can see in the original diagram, there's only forces acted on y direction. That is 100 uh, LBF. There's no in the x direction. None. That's why uh, OX and BX is equal to zero. And that's why just now I said CX is also zero because there's no act forces acted on the x axis. Now, <coughs> We calculate the moment. So the total moment in the counterclockwise clockwise direction is pos for positive is equal to zero. Now we can see here, let me draw a second. So for moment or acted on O here, so we can calculate here. So 100 uh 100 lbf is around 6 inches and also we assume that counterclockwise is positive so since it's going here and then 100 lbf is going opposite to the th that direction so it's negative 100 uh times 6 since moment is forces times its uh its distance so negative 100 times 6 plus by is here. So by would be going up here and from here to here. So, so you imagine this. So since it's going in the same direction, it will be positive by times the distance is 6 plus 12. So 6 plus 12 by. And then there's nothing else, so equals to zero. So we solve for by, uh, by equals to three thirty three point three three lbf. If you want to know more about uh the sum of forces and the sum of moments, uh, I have another video which get which uh I will link in the description of the video below. Next is by substituting by equals to 33.33 lbf into equation 1 uh, we can get uh, oy plus 33.33 equals to 100 then we solve for oy oy should be 66.67 you can see here oy 66.67 and by 33.33 next we consider bc member which is here uh, let me draw here so for bc member 
CY would be equals to BY. Why? Because you can see here for the BC member, uh, there's forces acting on opposite direction, but it will be equal. So this is uh, tension. So FB equals to FC, which is it's the same as um, BY equals to CY here. BY equals to CY because this is tension. So tension, uh, if you want to know more about tension, I will have a video in link in the description below. So now that we know that CY is equal to BY, so CY is equal to 33.33 LBF. So in the end, the answer is BY equals to 33.33 LBF, OY is equal to 66.67 LBF, and CY is equal to 33.33 LBF. So that's it for this video. Uh, next up, we're going to solve the problem for 3.2. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys can understand my explanation. If not, uh, you guys can add anything in the comment section below. I will see it and help any way uh, that I can. Thank you.